Hello everyone, my name is Naresh and today we are going to create this cool paper tear effects. This is the second and easy method to create this paper tear effects. So let's jump in. I have downloaded and organized all the images in this image folder. You can download the project file and you can use those assets. I will provide that in the link in the description. All right, so click on the new composition. Let's call it paper. Add the images of your choice. I am adding this image. Let's pre-compose this image. Leave all the attributes in the paper. This will help us when we are going to change the image. Rename it as image and click OK. All right, now import the paper tone texture to this comb, select its position and rotation, adjust the position and size, let's scale it down a little bit, alright that's good, now select the image and duplicate by pressing command D or control D in case of PC. All right, now select this image and create mask over it. All right, so this is the down mask work is complete. Now let's complete the upper mask. So click on this image and select the paper and duplicate it. Let's this uh, let's bring this image up. Select the image, go to mask. Select the substack to invert the mask. So we have now upper tear, and we have now lower part of tear. All right. So let's select this two layer and pre-compose it as a up layer. Similarly, select this two layer and pre-compose it as down layer. All right, now select this main image and select the alpha mate to down layer. Okay, now let's copy this image by control D or command D and select this alpha mate to up layer. So now we have this upper layer and we have this lower layer. Let's pre-compose it. So pre-compose it, let's call it upper layer. Upper half. And this one is the lower half. So we have upper paper tear and lower paper tear. All right, now go to effects and presets and search for CC page done. And drag and drop it over upper layer. Change the back opacity to 100 and back up the page to none. Now let's add the effect of tone paper. Go to upper half. Copy this paper edge and paste it to the main composition. All right, if you want to apply the paper tear effect on the lower half, you can just change the order of the layer. And don't forget to apply CC page turn to now this layer and the rest of the procedure is same. Now let's add the background. Now let's add the background image. Now let's give it a depth by applying drop shadow. So go to presets and select drop shadow and apply on this layer. 
All right, let's change the distance to something around 50. Softness to around 55. And change the direction of shadow so that it does not show the paper tear edges. Alright, another thing you can do from CC page turn that you can change the fold radius to around 115 or 114. Alright, so it's look better. Now it's look better. Now let's animate this paper fold by applying the animation or keyframe to fold position and move it back to its original position just just like that move forward to about 75 or keyframe and then just move it back zoom out and done you can press n on your keyboard to just cut the length and play through the animation so it is almost ready and we are about to apply text effect now you can see here that there is no texture or image on the back side of this paper. You can have the same texture as the image or you can have some different texture. So how to change that? Let's do that. Go to upper half, select this composition, control C, command C and command V or control V. Click enter and rename this as upper back texture. Now select the upper half, go to effect and change this back of page to upper back texture. So now we have this nice texture on the back side of the paper. Now we can either change this uh, texture of this back side of the paper or we can play around with this image to give it more subtle look so let's add black and white so go to upper back texture go to image and go to effects and presets and select black and white add this to image select curve play with the cow and lastly we can add some green to this layer all right now let's demonstrate how to replace this texture so go to upper back texture now we have this image so select this image and reveal the layer source and you can duplicate and rename it as texture 2 all right now keep holding the press and keep holding the alt key and replace this image texture 2 now go to texture 2 and you can select any image or any texture you want to replace all right going back to our main composition now you can see that we have replaced this texture with the another image i have also demonstrated this thing in my previous tutorial link is here all right now let's add text select text tool in the order of the layer and now we have this nice reveal tone paper mm -hmm. 
all right so it's done if you want to change the texture or image just go to upper half select the image and you can change the change any image you want if you want to remove this white edges just go to the upper half select its position and just change it to one value 